What's up everyone, Super Nerd Daniel coming at you with episode 40 of my Pokemon Sun Let's Play. In the last episode, we did a lot of stuff. We found out that Hapu is now the Island Kahuna for Pony Island, kind of, you know, after the fact. So uh, now we actually have a Kahuna we can face later on, but for right now, we apparently have to go get the Sun Flute, which apparently is on Executor Island. But a couple things you may have noticed. First of all, uh, obviously... I have changed my style a little bit, finally, gave myself a bit of a makeover, so, and the Pokemon Passport, or Trainer Passport, I should say, a little bit, get a good look at what I got going on now, I actually got the uh, Modern Quiff haircut, which looks pretty cool, got it in black, also got the dark tank top, the Sea Cucumber shorts, I still have the same backpack though, and I bought some socks and still got the same shoes, also got the black rim glasses, as you can see, because I had to fully unleash my inner hipster, so, yeah. Check it out. Anyway. The other thing that I have to let you guys know about right now, I'm sorry, I wanted to make it work, but I had to put Dread Scythe back in the party instead of Gastrodon. I, I know I need type coverage, but unfortunately Gastrodon... I mean, number one, I just wanted Dread Scythe back in the party anyway, and number two, Gastrodon... Okay, so I couldn't find the Gen 7 Learn set because I obviously Bulbapedia doesn't, uh, doesn't have those yet. For all the uh, old Pokemon, obviously. So, I had to look up the Gen 6 learn set because that was just the best thing I could go with for Gastrodon. The only other move it's going to learn naturally that's water type at this point is Muddy Water. And while that has like 90 or 95 base power, um, it's only 85% accurate. So, no thank you. No thank you. I will make do with what I have. Did you find her? Yes, and Habu was made the new Kahuna. Oh, that's a joy in my ears. Her old grandfather must be smiling down on us. Yes, Habu will do her best for her late grandfather, as I must do my best for my mother's sake, and for Nebby as well. Uh, and so, there's a place we need to go. We go to Exegator Island. Exegator Island? Oh, you mean where the flute is. Well, you two did meet the Kahuna already, and Pony's captain ain't around anyway, so I guess there's no point in winning on any trials. All right, the SS Magikarp will have you there, and you'll be—you'll uh, think you're sailing in a dream. It's off to Executor Island. By the way, don't try to swerve me and tell me there's no trial. And there's no trial captain. All right, you told me there was no Kahuna, and now suddenly there's a Kahuna. So, in fact, I'm almost willing to bet that this guy is the trial captain. That's probably where this is gonna end up going. Anyway, we're on Exeggutor Island. Ha, here we are at Exeggutor Island. I heard this place used to be a trial site, though that was a long time ago now. You go on, good luck to you both. Let's go find that flute, right? Trainers really can't go uh, anywhere as long as they have their Pokemon, can't they? I think I'm beginning to understand the appeal. Let's go. I feel like trainers can open up the door to any future, as long as they have their Pokémon. That's what it looks like to me when I see you, Daniel. And Hapu and Hao, too. Good for you. Oh. Ah! What is that, Daniel? Uh, I believe that is a tree. Except it's not, though. Oh, here we go. A Lolan Exeggutor. A Lolan Exeggutor. Nice. We have to be careful with this. I, I kind of want to catch it. So. I forgot I got rid of Exorcist for Stone Edge. Oh, well, that probably would have killed it anyway. Let's get the one more Psycho Cut. Hope Super Luck doesn't come into play. So I kind of want to catch this just for. For the sake of having it. Oh, that was a crit too. Okay, cool. So it was gonna kill it regardless. Okay, let's go for an Ultra Ball. Cause why not? Why not? Oh boy. I 
as long as we're talking about Alolan forms, go ahead and tell me in the comments below, uh, what is your least favorite Alolan form that you have seen thus far? Um, for me, I think I already mentioned this in a previous episode, but it's gotta be Alolan Diglin Duck Trio. So that's my least favorite. Anyway, we caught an Alolan Executor, which is cool. And Dread Scythe grows to level 45, also cool. Ooh, wants to learn Sucker Punch. Uh, let's see here. Well, obviously, it would be priority. Hmm. No, it's breaking the moves I have. Keep the moves. I would like to keep the moves. Thank you. Okay. And Wachi Tonkra is level 47. Nice. Executor, the coconut Pokemon. Alola form. Alola is the best environment for this Pokemon. Local people take pride in its appearance, saying this is how Executor ought to look. And we will give you a nickname indeed. And we're not going to add you to the team, so let's just call you Dragon Tree. Let's look at your summary real quick, though. See what you got going on. Uh, Confusion, Psy Shock, Egg Bomb, and Wood Hammer. It's got the ability Frisk. With a hasty nature, it's going to lower its defense in favor of speed. Eh, it's not great. Yeah. But yeah, I did want to keep Sucker Punch on uh, Absol just because I wanted to keep uh, Stone Edge and Psycho Cut for coverage. Yeah, I feel like Sucker Punch might fail in some cases. This isn't competitive, so, you know. Whew, that was an executor, wasn't it? I think that the good weather in Alola has let it grow a bit more vigorously than I prefer. Well, there you go. Alright, is there anything else going on in Executor Island? Or is it literally just going to be Alola and Executor from top to bottom? No, we're going to get some Pelipers, alright? I may as well use this as a as an excuse to test out the Stone Edge. Well, if you notice any of my Pokemon like doing these weird like affection-based things, it's because I actually went in off-screen while I was doing this whole uh, um, changing the look thing. I also went in and actually raised on my party's affection a little bit. So not only are they going to do the weird affection things, but they're also going to get boosted experience points. Oh, and it's raining now. Oh, it's starting to rain. Let's go in this convenient cave. Rain in Alola, huh? My skirt got a bit wet. Looking at it rain like this reminds me of this one time when I was little. I'd seen it in a movie. This man singing and dancing in the rain. It captivated me so much that I had to try it for myself. My mother spotted me out in the rain, and she was so shocked that she ran out right after me without even bothering to get an umbrella. And then she smiled, and she danced with me in the rain. Of course, we both ended up catching cold. She let me sleep in her big bed with her. I was so happy that I kept waking her again and again, just to be sure it wasn't a dream. But then she changed. And all she would think about was the Ultra Beasts, and Null and Nebby. They both ended up suffering so much, and I couldn't do anything. But you know what, Daniel? Whenever I feel like there's nothing I can do, you seem to show up and you do something. Every time you show me that it's possible to do something. Even the first time we met, Nebby was being attacked, and all I could do was look on in horror. And at Aether Paradise, all I could do was wait for you and the others to save me. Whenever I'm in any sort of trouble, you're always there. I... Yes? Uh, Daniel? What are you going to do once you finish your island challenge? Uh... I don't know. Oh, thank goodness. It's such a relief to know that even someone like you feels unsure at times, Daniel. I mean, to be fair, the Pokemon League wasn't really a, an option, so... I mean, that's... Realistically, that's what I'm gonna do. But, uh, you know, I suppose Get Stronger was supposed to be the, the thing I chose there for... Whatever. I think I'd like to become a trainer, too, and travel together with you, Daniel. Nice. He 
series of ellipses. <laughs> ah! Sweet rainbow. Maybe there really are good omens sometimes, wouldn't you say? Yeah, before that rainbow was actually just another ultra wormhole. Alright, let's move ahead. By which I mean, let's go around this little cape and get this item, which is... A prism scale. Alright, cool. So if I ever want to evolve, um, Feebas by trading, that would be the way to do it. So that hasn't been changed for any reason. Nothing over there. There's Lily up there. I'm not gonna do that just yet. I just want to check around here and see if there's anything of interest. For because that's definitely a Z crystal podium, and I feel like there's gonna be a surprise trial right here. But it doesn't look like there's doesn't look like there's anything going on. So let's just go ahead and do this. Daniel. Oh, never mind. I was wrong. It's the goddamn sun flute. A flute is placed on a very old pedestal. You take the flute? Sure. I need it for the plot. Now we have both the sun flute and the moon flute! I don't know if it will really summon the legendary Pokemon, but we can at least try. If nothing else, we'll have sounded the flutes and offering like people used to do. So thank you for coming this far with me, Daniel. Let's go meet the chief of the sea folk and get back to Pony Island. Let's. I feel like this is too easy. Look at you, trial goer. You're going to the altar to play the flutes? The altar lies all the way through the vast Pony Canyon. It's a long road there. That path's like nature's own trial. Good luck to you, friends. And why don't you stop by and tell Hapu that you're off before you go? I think we'll do just that. Alright, I believe this is Hapu's house. We're supposed to stop by and tell her we're on our way to the, to the thing. Does not seem to be here though. Hmm. There's a grand. My hobby was headed for the ruins of hope, wasn't she? Go after her. uh well, uh we've already been there. We were supposed to stop by Habu's house and tell her that I mean that that's what I was told anyway. Oh fuck it, let's look behind here, see if there's anything of interest around here. Oh, this is Zygar piece. I didn't fucking see this before. There's an item back there, too. Let me see if I can grab that real quick. Well, I'm gonna have to trigger the plot, unfortunately, because that's up and around there, and I don't know if I can get there before doing this. Oh, boy! The squat line. Here from Team Skull. What is it you want from us? Here they come! I heard about you numbskulls in Aether. Do you really know a way to save our boy Guzma? We can make you talk, even if we have to cut you to the bone. This is not gonna end well for you, friend. Oh god, please don't tell me I have to fight all fucking six of them. I mean, it should be too terribly difficult, but still. Oh, she's only got one Pokemon. Probably should have led with uh, Zygarde 10% because I'm pretty sure that still has the amulet coin. So at least if I have to fight a bunch of freaking Team Skull Grunts, I would get a lot of money from it. Just gonna go ahead and hit you with this Night Slash. Should work pretty well. Yup. Goodbye. Okay, so you kept me to the bone. Ouch! Oh god, Plumeria is over there. Doesn't matter. We'll come after you with all our Pokemon at once, little home slice. We'll give it 200% to save our boy Guzma. Oh, what is this gonna be a horde?
Nope, still just the singles. Oh, okay. They're literally giving all their Pokemon to one guy. So this battle might actually take a couple minutes. Let's take out the sound it pretty amicably. Good old Psycho Cut. Now there's one. Oh, Golbat, this could be a problem. Especially if he uses that freaking super buff leech life. Hopefully I outspeed, though. I do outspeed, great. That's not gonna kill, though. That's not great. Haze, I don't know what stat changes you're reversing. Because it's kind of like, not that. So there's nothing going on there that change any stats. Except your status from alive to dead. So there you go. And Omnitrix grows level 46. Yo, let's bring in Omnitrix because I need to get that amulet coin activated. And plus, Omnitrix can uh, take out a little and eradicate with its brick break pretty easily. Just gotta remember to switch Zygarde back out front. Just to make sure I can get all the all the nifty monies for future trainer battles. So I have a feeling there's another Plumeria battle coming up. I just have a feeling, because I know she's there. There comes Haunter. Uh, let's go right back out the Dread Scythe. Hit you with that Night Slash once again. Psycho Cat would have worked too, but uh, just to be safe, go for the stab one. Goodbye. My god, this is not even close. I Dread Scythe grows to level 46, that's good. Oh, look at that beautiful attack stat. It's so good. That's set in Marini. Yeah, we gotta bring in Omnitrix for this. Also, E Honda's falling a little bit behind level wise. Maybe I should uh, uh, try to get him in some of these battles at some point. Hit you with that Land's Wrath. Rock your world! Good night and goodbye. Even though it's morning. Actually, it's afternoon when I'm recording this, but... Yep, details. <laughs> I'm not giving up even though you beat me! I'm part of Team Skull! We're thick as anything! That's enough. No one wants to see a sore loser. Oh gee, Plumeria is there. Who could have foreseen this? Hm, <laughs> you girly. Lily, right? You really ready to do this finally? To be honest, I've treated you really badly. Even if I was just doing the work the president told me to, I shouldn't have done all that. Even if I apologize now, I know it's probably too late for you to forgive me, though. See, Guzma, he really likes the president. She's the only adult who ever seemed to see how strong he was. The president? My mother is... she's selfish. She lavishes her love only on those she deems worthy, not caring whether it is wanted or not. But I will save her. I still have something I need to tell her. And I think I could save Guzma as well. You know, deep down, you're kind of like the President. You've gone in a different direction, but I can tell you have the same strength in your convictions. Bring Guzma back if you can. I know you've got no reason to help, but no one can make up for what they've done if they're gone. And you, Daniel. Looks like you were special after all. You didn't just stand up to Team Skull. You even took on the darkness inside Aether. Looks like you're the real deal. The realest Pokemon trainer I've seen around. Take good care of a little princess here. This is my way of saying sorry, okay? Take it. It's Poisonium Z. Nice! Oh yeah. You got your first stone directly from Tapu Koko, didn't you, Daniel? 
You better take care of it. That's one special Z-ring you've got there. A trainer is only a trainer because of the Pokemon with them. If you ever forget that, you'll bring down the wrath of the Tapu down upon yourself. You should be fine, though. I'm out of here. It's sweet. We got Poison EMZ from Plumeria. I suppose even Team Skull is not all bad. Thanks for helping me again, Daniel. And here, let me thank your team, too. Oh, nice. We're gonna get healed up. Cool, cool. Appreciate it. Alright, we are going to head to the Vast Pony Canyon in the next episode of the Pokemon Sun Let's Play. So, thank you for joining me for this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and hopefully you will join me in the next one. Be sure to answer the comment question down below. Let me know uh, what your least favorite Alolan form is. I believe that was the question I came up with. Give it a like if you liked it, and subscribe for more in the future. But until then, take care everyone, and I'll catch you later. Super Nerd Daniel, out!